Indian Museum The Indian Museum is the largest and oldest museum in India and has rare collections of antiques, armor and ornaments, fossils, skeletons, mummies, and Mughal paintings. It was founded by the Asiatic Society of Bengal in Kolkata, India in 1814. The founder curator was Dr. Nathaniel Wallach, a Danish botanist. It has 6 sections comprising 35 galleries of cultural and scientific artifacts namely art, archaeology, anthropology, geology, zoology and economic botany. Exhibits of the museum include dinosaur skeletons, replica of the 2nd century BC Bahat stupa etc. In the must watch category, we have the 4000 year old Egyptian mummy and the urn that is said to contain the relics of the Buddha. National Gallery of Modern Art Once the Palace of the Maharaja of Jaipur this gallery is a repository of the works of all the great modern indian artists here you can find works by amrita sher gill nobel laureate rabindranath tagore and mf hussain national gallery of modern art if you wish to attend lectures seminars and conferences and to encourage higher studies and research in the field of art history art criticism art appreciation musicology and the interrelations on visual and performing arts then ngma is the place for you the idea of a national art gallery to germinate and bear fruit was first mooted in 1949 it was nurtured carefully by prime minister jawaharlal nehru and molana azad sensitive bureaucrats like humayun kabir and an active art community The gallery is the premier institution of its kind in India. The gallery is a repository of the cultural ethos of the country and showcases the changing art forms through the passage of the last 150 years. Notwithstanding some gaps, the NGMA collection today is undeniably the most significant collection of modern and contemporary art in the country today. The National Museum If you only visit one museum in Delhi, make sure it's the National Museum. A couple of hours stay here will equip you with the historical knowledge you will need for when you go exploring the capital city as well as the rest of India. Documenting history and culture of the Indian subcontinent, the museum owns some 150,000 items covering some 5 millennia. Some of the gems of the museum are the Chola statue of the cosmic dance of Lord Shiva, finds from the Indus Valley civilization, relics of the Buddha from Pipravi and an amazing collection of miniature paintings. Victoria Memorial. The monument which draws the largest crowds to Kolkata is the Victoria Memorial, dedicated to the memory of Queen Victoria. It houses an excellent collection of British Raj memorabilia including paintings and manuscripts. The foundation stone of this domed structure was laid by the then Prince of Wales, later King George V in 1906. Sala Yung Museum. The Sala Yung Museum is an art museum located at Darushifa. on the southern bank of the musi river in the city of hyderabad telangana india it is one of the national museums of india it has a collection of sculptures paintings carvings textiles manuscripts ceramics metallic artifacts carpets clocks and furniture from japan china burma nepal india persia egypt europe and north america the museum's collection was sourced from the property of the sala yung family It is one of the largest museums in the world. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahale. If ever a window was required to peep into the fascinating world of art and antiquities, the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahale, formerly known as the Prince of Wales Museum of Western India, is the right place to visit. This museum is most famous for having acquired a huge collection of Indian miniatures and other important antiquities 
more particularly the maratha textiles arms and armor from the collection of seth purushottam mavji this collection was once a part of the treasures of nana fadnavas the most influential minister during the reign of the peshwas the importance of the museum has also been enhanced due to the donation of a fascinating art collection from the repository of sir ratan tata and sir dorabji tata built from a winning entry by architect george witted in 1909 the museum offers insights into the rich past of the country with its archaeological artifacts sourced from various excavated sites the museum has a representative collection of various forms of art from the indian subcontinent and also to a certain extent works of art from china japan and european countries additionally it houses a study collection of natural history specimens albert hall the building gets its name from the victoria and albert museum in london the inspiration for its design the exquisitely built albert hall is housed in the center of ram nivas garden Sir Swinton Jacob conceptualized and designed it using styles from the Indo-Saracenic architecture and the Prince of Wales laid the foundation stone of the building in 1876. The museum displays a wide range of metal objects, wood crafts, carpets, stone and metal sculptures, arms and weapons, natural stones and ivory goods. It also houses a large collection of miniatures from Bundi Kota, Kishangarh, Udaipur and Jaipur schools of art. Jay Vilas Palace and Museum. Visit a stunning display of architectural grandeur of the bygone era. The palace built in European style has a blend of Tuscan, Italian and Corinthian styles. The palace is now converted into a museum. The palace was constructed by Maharaja Jiyaji Rao Sinda in the year 1875. The Darbar Hall in the palace has its walls decorated with golden leaves. The largest pair of chandeliers in Asia is found hanging in the palace. Now a museum the collections in Jay Vilas Palace are equally unique and awe inspiring. Hill Palace Archaeological Museum Tripunithura The hilltop palace built in 1865 consists of 49 buildings and sprawls across 52 acres of lush green land. It is a blend of Dutch and traditional architectural styles. There are 18 main galleries displaying the royal throne, pictures of former rulers, Tanjore paintings etc. State Museum Zoo The State Museum in Lucknow is the oldest and largest multi-purpose museum of Uttar Pradesh, established in 1863. A favorite spot for recreation and travel buffs, it has hundreds of antiquities and other exhibits on display. Its areas of acquisition include art and archaeology, paintings, manuscripts, numismatics and anthropology. The State Museum houses a large collection of artifacts and memorabilia as well as sculptural masterpieces dating back to the 3rd century AD. Bharat Bhavan Bharat Bhavan is among the most prestigious national institutes in India. This center for the performing and visual arts was designed by the renowned architect Charles Mark Currier. There is a Museum of the Arts an art gallery a workshop for fine arts a repertory theater indoor and outdoor auditoria rehearsal rooms and libraries of indian poetry classical and folk music the u museum visit the old saint thomas church that has been converted into a museum which is a repository of antique statues wooden carvings stone inscriptions idols shadow clocks etc Kohama Museum It is very interesting and informative to see the traditions culture and artifacts of the many different tribes of the state portrayed at the Kohama Museum All 16 tribal groups from the region of Nagaland are represented here Lakota Palace and Museum 
the structure was originally designed as a fort, so that soldiers posted around it could fend off an army of enemies with the lake acting as a moat. The tower known as Lakota Palace now houses the Lakota Museum. The museum exhibits artifacts spanning from 9th to 18th centuries, pottery from nearby medieval villages and the skeleton of a whale. First thing that will grab your attention at the entrance is the guard room, that is decorated with muskets, swords and powder flasks, which are reminiscent of the original purpose of the structure and proving the martial readiness of the state at the time. The walls of the museum are covered in frescoes depicting various battles fought by the Jadeja Rajputs. Lakota Fort is connected to the banks by two causeways, but is only accessible from the north side. Submarine Museum This museum offers a deep into the history of India's most sought-after submarine. Managed by retired personnel of Indian Navy, this museum is an experience not to be missed. Procured from Russia, this was India's fifth submarine and participated in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. Attracting a major number of visitors every day, the museum is manned by retired naval people. It offers a unique experience sharing the thrills and spills of life under the sea.